Hello viewers, uh, welcome to my channel. Today's uh, topic is uh, intestinal gas or fluorescence. You know. Uh, before that, I would like to request you to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day. Now, the intestine uh, normally contains a gas that is rapidly transmitted through the small intestine to the colon. You know, and the amount of gas that is uh, normally present uh, is dependent on the effects of the colonic bacteria on the undigested food. Uh, which reaches uh, the colon and the speed uh, with which the gas passes through the intestines and is passed you know. uh, in normal individuals uh, most of the lower intestinal gas uh, is passed and uh, uh, the fertilizer gas produced in the colon and is not transmitted from the upper intestine you know. now the fertilizer results from the production of gas by bacteria uh, within the intestines, usually the colon, you know, and uh, they digest directly to sugars and uh, polys, uh, uh, saccharides that reach the colon undigested, you know. Now, the increased gas is not caused by the irritable bowel syndrome or uh, most parasitic or bacterial intestinal infections, you know. Now, and uh, the gas is not caused by the irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, are the most parasitic or bacterial intestinal infections. So it's not caused by the gastritis, uh, gastric cancer, gallstones, cholecystitis and uh, pancreatitis, you know, or cystic fibrosis. Uh, unless there is a uh, male digestion of the food, you know. And uh, it's also uh, should not be confused with the indigestion, uh, which has causes other than the gas, you know. Now, the excessive production and of gas and the increased fertilizer may occur because of uh, certain reasons like uh, the greater ability of someone, some bacteria to produce gas, you know, or the male digestion or the male absorption of the sugars and the uh, polysaccharides such as uh, uh, that seen in the chronic parasite, uh, pancreatitis, you know. Uh, with uh, pancreatic uh, insufficiency or uh, celiac disease, you know, and uh, bacterial overgrowth of the small intestine. So these are the common causes uh, which can result in the excessive production of the gas, you know. Now, abdominal pain is not a common symptom of the people with excessive gas, although the discomfort of, of uh, uh, bloating may be uh, described as pain, you know. Cramps and severe pains just causes other than gas, uh, for example, intestinal obstruction that uh, can lead to the uh, abdominal distension or discomfort, you know. Now, the remedies uh, uh, for uh, truly excessive gas include like changes in the diet and uh, suppression of the intestinal bacteria that produce the gas, you know. Uh, there is no evidence that uh, digestive enzymes uh, activated charcoal and uh, uh, smithicon, which is also known as uh, gas X or uh, mylanta and others, you know. So there is no the evidence that uh, uh, they are helpful, you know. Now, the remedies for the excessive uh, uh, belching and uh, not due to excessive gas is uh, uh, by learning the new physical habits such as uh, uh, breathing with the mouth open, you know. And the false smelling gas uh, is not the same with the excessive gas you know and the false smell of the uh, gas results from the types of the food you eat you know and the types of the gas is produced by the bacteria in the colon uh, particularly gases that contain sulfur you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information you can visit our website www.diseaseandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more informative videos every day thank you very much keep watching